before I jump right to Zhang Yin's um, character story trailer, I'm going to be checking out her collected at miscellany and hopefully we'll find out more about her gameplay. So, without further ado, let's just jump right into it. So, let me just set this to full screen. 1080p. Uh, caption and volume. All right. Let's see what you got. The idea that an Adeptus just moved into your neighborhood must seem so delusional that it would never cross anyone's mind. And so, to the urbanites of Liyue Harbor, the elegant Shen Yun is simply a new face on the block with a rather unique personality. She oh, likely wouldn't admit it herself, Shen Yun. but she's probably quite pleased about this. After all, it shows how adept she is at blending into human society. Please call me Xian Yun in public. Xian Yun. There are many tales in about the adept eye of Liyue, and plenty of cloud retainers' deeds feature among them. If you ever meet a gifted inventress who moves with the grace of a crane and has a heart for the younger generation, you may have just crossed paths with an adeptus in disguise. To journey with this adeptus is to bathe in the breeze. When Shen Yun is in the party, gliding speed is increased for your own party members, huh. making exploration faster. Well, that's a first. Oh, wait, there are other characters that attacks, they make gliding faster. Um, Ember. Dealing ammo damage. Her charged attack consumes a certain amount of stamina to launch a breeze bolt in a straight line, dealing ammo damage to enemies in its path. All right. When Shen Yun uses her elemental skill, she enters Cloud Transmogrification State and uses Sky Ladder once, leaping forward and dealing ammo damage to targets along her path. Okay. While in this state, she takes no fall damage and her plunging attack is converted into Drift Cloud Wave, which okay. deals AoE ammo damage and ends the Cloud Transmogrification State. Drift Cloud Wave damage is considered Plunging Attack Damage. Each okay. time Shen Yun enters Cloud Transmogrification state, she may use Sky Ladder up to three times. Yeah, aka the triple use of jump. Sky Ladder while in this state will increase the damage and AOE of Drift Cloud Wave. The triple jump. Sky Ladder can be used in midair, and if it is not used again within a short period, the Cloud Transmogrification state will be cancelled. Oh. If Drift Cloud Wave is not used while in Cloud Transmogrification state, her elemental skills cooldown will be shorter. Okay. After unlocking the Talus Gale Feather Pursuit, each enemy struck by Shen Yun's Drift Cloud Wave grants all nearby party members one stack of Storm Pinion, which increases the crit rate of plunging attacks. Storm Pinion has a maximum Whoa. of four stacks and has a limited duration. Hm. Make way for the Adeptus! Shen Yun's Elemental Burst brings forth a Sacred Breeze that deals AoE animo damage, heals all nearby characters based on oh, Shenyun's attack, she's and a summons healer. the mechanism Star Wicker. Healer that Star skills based on attack, okay. Character and periodically heals all nearby characters based on Shenyun's attack. Okay. Star Wicker comes with eight stacks of Adeptal Assistance. While active, Adeptal Assistance increases the jump height of nearby active characters, when an active character completes a plunging attack, okay. Star Wicker consumes one stack of Adeptal Assistance to deal AoE ammo damage. Only one Star Wicker can exist on the field at a time. Okay. Ms. Shen Yun's mechanical inventions are so ingenious that they In are other often words, mistaken she's a for being products of Adeptal power. After unlocking the talent, consider the Adeptus in her realm. When the Star Wicker created by her Elemental Burst has stacks of Adeptal Assistance, Plunging attack damage on landing is increased for nearby active characters okay. based on Shen Yun's attack. There is a limit to the Again. plunging attack damage increase that can be granted. They emphasize on the part of Shen Yun's attack. The damage increase is only applied to a single enemy for plunging attack. And each character can trigger the effect once per set interval. Okay. Shen Yun created her Lunastar artifices as gifts for other people. And although she kept Star Wicker for herself, 
She often uses it to assist her companions. Shen Yun's elemental skill not only facilitates exploration, but is also a formidable tool in combat. Yeah, uh, she can be a being a queen in exploration as well. And unleash Drift Cloud Wave against enemies. When energy is full, Shen Yun calls forth Sacred Winds to heal all her companions and summons Star Wicker to assist them in the fight. Star Wicker periodically heals teammates and provides adeptal assistance to increase their plunging attack damage. Smart use of adeptal mechanisms gets maximum results for minimum effort, even in battle. The long story short, when most mortals. Hold on. So, long story short, right? If you want to make the best use of um, Shen Yun, the best way is you, you spam her elemental burst as frequently as possible. And, uh, and, I, and I believe the rotation will be you activate her elemental skill burst. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Elemental skill first. And then her elemental burst. And then you switch to your main DPS. Well, most likely, um, yeah, because judging by this video itself, she pairs very well with Xiao but later on I will, I'll be doing a test run and see whether my theory is correct or not so long story short based on this some um, collected miscellany Zheng Yin's main role is support <laughs> but the irony is that in the character demo it looked like she's either a main DPS or a sub DPS but in reality she's uh, she's more of a support and she heals base on um, her attack in other words right your the, her sub stats will likely need a attack percent she doesn't need crits considering the fact that she's a uh, a support you just need uh, you just need your artifacts to have at least a attack percent sub stat i believe you're good to go and um, energy recharge as well if you want to consistently spam her elemental burst think of Adepti, they picture a reclusive hermit, solemn, refined, and reserved. Yet Cloud Retainer is full of vim and vigor. Among the Adepti, she oh, is look. the most inclined towards gatherings she and casual conversation. Me. And among mortals, she is the most doting elder. Her two students, who cares Shen He and Gan Yu. When not at home engineering new marvels, she is often found at the shops on Feiyun Slope, or the snack stalls of Chihu Rock. Those familiar with Shen Yun, are well accustomed to the haughty tone she sometimes fails to conceal, and tend to think of her as an older sister. In her own words, certain things are best understood in the mind and not said aloud. Right. I think that's pretty much um, the cons. Uh, the what's it called? The collected miscellany for Zheng Yun. Alright, the next thing I'm going to do is I'll be doing a test run uh, on Zheng Yin so to test uh, to prove whether my theory is correct or not. So hold on a second. After Zheng Yin uses her elemental skill, she will enter the Cloud Trans more grification state and her elemental skill. Yeah, we, we did, I, this was explained earlier on in the Collector Miscellany, blah 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 blah. In the Cloud Trans Mutation state, yeah, I, okay, okay, I got you, I got you, I got you. So, Zheng Yin level 80. Weapon. Yeah, makes her signature weapon makes sense as to why it's scale based on attack. Considering the fact that her healing is scale based on attack, so it kind of makes sense as to why her signature weapon is scale based on attack as well. Uh, hold on. Um, after the equipping character hits an opponent with a plunging attack, all nearby party members' plunging attack will deal 28% increased damage for 20 seconds. When nearby party members hit opponent with plunging attacks, they will restore 2.5 energy to the equipping character. Energy can be restored this way every 0.7 seconds. This energy can regain effect can be triggered even if the equipping character is not on the field. Ha! Huh. Four piece songs of days pass. Interesting. Hmm. I might have to check back whether I have a, I have a attack percent uh, scaling because normally when it comes to healing bonus, right? I only kept the HP percent main stats. I rarely kept the the ones that is based on attack because very few 
support characters or should I say healing characters scale based on the type because most of the characters their healing is based on HP while very few such as the likes of Zhen Yun is scale based on attack uh, and I think the, uh, there's also another character that's where her healing is also scale based on attack so I think it was Jin Jin's healing is also scales based on attack from what I remember mean. Okay, um, let's check out her constellation just out of curiosity. Um, purifying wind, white clouds at dawn gains one additional charge. Is this her elemental skill? After using a sky ladder from white clouds at dawn, yeah, white clouds at dawn is practically her elemental skill. Jenny's attack will be increased by 20% for 15 seconds. Additionally, the effect of the passive talent, consider the adapters in her realm, will be enhanced. When the Star Vehicle created by Star Gather at Dusk, I believe that's the name of her elemental boss, has adaptive assistance stack, nearby active characters, plunging attack, shockwave damage will be increased by 400% of Zhengin's attack. Again, scaling based on the attack. The maximum damage increase that can be achieved this way is 18,000. Each plunging attack, shockwave damage instance can only apply this increased damage effect to a single opponent. Each character can trigger this effect once every 0.4 seconds. You must well consider our point. Next, increase the level of star getter at the dust. I believe this increases her... buffs her elemental burst. Constellation 4, after using sky leather 1, 2, 3 times during 1 white clouds at dawn, aka her elemental skill. Cloud Transmogrification State When a Drift Cloud Wave unleashes during that instance hits an opponent, it will heal all nearby party members for 50, 50 80, 150 of Xianyi's attack. This effect can be triggered once every 5 seconds. Again, scale based on attack. Um, Xianyi is, um, is, is justified as a healer at this point for going out. Constellation 5 um, increases the level of her elemental skill. Constellation 6. After Jenny uses um, 1, 2, or 3 Sky Ladder within one cloud transmogrification caused by her ele elemental skill, the crit damage of a Drift Cloud Wave created in this instance of cloud transmogrification will be increased by 15, 15 35, 70%. Within 16 seconds after Jenny has used stars gathered at dusk, White clouds at dawn will not enter city. This effect will be cancelled once she has used white clouds at dawn eight times. Ah. So no more attack. White clouds at dawn is element. The name of elemental skill. Star gathers and dust. Elemental burst. Gale feather pursuit. Um. Each opponent hit by drift cloud waves from white clouds at dawn will grant all party members. One stack of Storm Pinion for 20 seconds, max 4 stacks. This will close the character's plunging attack crit rate to increase by 4, 6, 8, 10% respectively. Each Storm Pinion created by hitting opponent has an independent duration. Uh, consider the adapters in the realm. When the Star Waker created by Stars Gather at Dusk aka her elemental burst, has adapter assistance stacks, nearby active characters, plunging attacks, shockwave damage will be increased by 200% of Zhengyun's attack. The maximum damage increase that can be achieved this way. I'm sorry. Each plunging attack, shockwave damage instance can only apply this increased damage effect to a single opponent. Each character can trigger this effect once every point for seconds. And lastly, her great form, uh, Glide Crane form increases gliding speed for your own party member by 15 seconds. Okay, so settings of the banner. Things a little. Rage outlines your fate. Yeah, skyward. Gray clouds converge. So Okay, ladies. Make way for the adeptus. Skyward! 
Okay, any soft will come again. That means a little slow though when, when she jumps. You know what? Let me let me swap to Sinchu. Yeah, I, I, I mean, during the entire duration, I can do a total of six plunging attacks. Everybody stand back! Make way for the attack! Yeah. Ow! Yeah, I believe she pairs combo well with um, Xiao. Just by looking at this. Uh, just by do doing this trial stage, I believe she pairs very well with um, Zhao because Zhao's attack is mostly based on plunging attack. So I can see that she combos very well with Zhao from the way I see it. And yeah, I believe she's a very fun character. But I, and where she's one of the very few characters that skill based on attack. So interesting. Very interesting kid. Well, that's about it for now. If you guys enjoyed my reaction to Zheng Yin's Collector Miscellany, I do appreciate a thumbs up on this video. And feel free to comment down below on what are your thoughts on Zheng Yin, her mechanics, and if you guys are pulling for Zheng Yin or are you guys planning to save her for future characters such as the likes of um, Chlorine and the recently um, Genshin's drip marketing, which I believe for her name was Chiyoi. Where she is a five-star geo sword character. Anyhow, my name is AJ, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.